Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3477 in Candy Crush Saga, as a special dedication to Carrie, who's been stuck on this level where we need, uh, in 23 moves, to collect 12 red and 12 yellow. And of course, one of the problems on this board is we don't have any yellow or red organically appearing here. We're going to have to get it all from these lucky candies. Looks like I've got two lucky candy dispensers, but these can also give out licorice twirls. The deal is, if I take out licorice on a turn, like if I make this move to take this out, or maybe put these orange together to take out these, then presumably no new licorice should form and drop in. And if I don't take out licorice, that's when new stuff can show up. And sometimes there's a one or a two turn delay that acts in our favor or against us. So we have to understand the nuances of each level. Also, the Lucky Candies will always correspond directly to order fulfillment. So once I activate these, they'll turn either red or yellow. If I can get rid of one of these, let's say I can get all of the yellow collected, then the rest of them will be red. So that's another thing I'm going to be going for, but that's going to require a bit of luck. I can't determine what these turn into in the beginning. So uh, it, obviously these candy cane fences are going to be a problem. I see portals. So this is going to come to maybe this, which will maybe come to this. Then I've also got portals here. I don't know exactly the route that these are going to take, but I have to draw as many of these lucky candies out as I possibly can. I'm also going to have to, because we've got this restricted area, I'm going to really work on trying to get as many special combos as I can going, because that should help me to really blow up the board quite a bit. I like this move because it is drawing things from here, down to here and so we're getting things potentially collected oh <sighs> it's still you know <laughs> as it was because notice one of them turned yellow and one of them turned red so we're not getting those matches and this is so complex with these candy cane fences i think it is a good idea to keep trying to take out licorice when i can but then eventually i run into a situation where i cannot remove licorice at least I don't see that as an opportunity. Now I can, but I also have to get things flowing. I think I have to make moves down here and see if, there we go, things get drawn down to the base. I still don't understand how these work. Huh. I could do this and it would open this up, but it's not going to be able to match completely together. I think I'm going to do this, which takes out another licorice. And now these are getting drawn down to here. <sighs> now once I stop taking out licorice, new licorice can fall into place here. Here, I took out a licorice. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Wrapped candies are nice on this board. Or stripes aimed right above here. That looks pretty good, too. I'd love to get a combo. I'm thinking about where this would have the best effect, and I think maybe where it is. Oh, hold on. Let's do this a bit. But look at this. Only 11 moves left, and I really haven't made a whole lot of progress on this. All right. Take out a licorice. Take out licorice. And then blow things up. And we're using this to collect what was... Um, oh gosh, what was activated. But sometimes we're getting things that aren't even those lucky candies. So this looks like a good move here, a striped wrapped combo, and this is blowing things up here. So it says that it's going to be either a lucky candy or a licorice, but it looks like it can be anything. It's not restricted to that, and I think that's what makes this particularly difficult. Let's see if I can get a color bomb through here. Not working yet. I don't see really any green that's going to help. Nope. Oh, here, we can go this way. But is that enough to get things done? I mean, so I have a color bomb. I can't match it with anything. All I can do is take out a color and that'll concentrate things down. Purple looks like a good color to remove. So even after all that work, we end up with still needing four red 
and six yellow. So I can see, Carrie, why you're stuck on this and how difficult this is. I do think my initial strategy of trying to make as many combos as I can is going to be important, but even actually just stripes aimed well or wrapped candies aimed well, I'm not going to worry about trying to put together combos. I'm just going to take out what I have when I have it because I don't have enough turns really to construct a whole bunch. And with the portals, it may or may not come together. We're just stuck on a really tough board that uh, isn't very generous with those lucky candies. So I'll pause the recording, meet you back here with a new board, hope that I get some more luck, and then if I do, uh, make sure that I take every move into consideration so that I can capitalize on that luck. Be right back. Okay, I've done a lot of experimenting, Carrie, and I have found that a color bomb striped candy combo is pretty decent on this board, but doesn't compare at all to a color bomb wrapped candy combo. Unfortunately, I had so very few moves by the time I got a color bomb wrapped candy combo, I couldn't get it to work for me. But that's what I'm going to be shooting for, I think. Of course, I'm still going to take any wrapped that I have. I'm not going to hold off to get a color bomb if it doesn't look like that's going to be coming in the near future. I want to keep this board going because, like I said, you know, that color bomb <laughs> wrapped, if I get it at all, it's not likely to show up quickly. And uh, the more I can bring these down, the better off I'll be. Now, notice I haven't collected any yellow, but a lot of red. That can be to my advantage because then if I get rid of all the red, I only have to collect yellow. So all of these turn into, ooh, hello, I like this. All of these will turn into yellow if I can get all of the red collected. Oh, not getting those... Color bomb wrapped candy combos, not getting any really significant combo here. That looks pretty good. I think it's time to take out more. Oh, hello. I want an orange here. Can't quite get it, but I'm going to keep trying. Oh, well, there goes that one on that side. I like a strike positioned here. There's my color bomb. If I could get it set up with a wrap, I'd have a fairly decent shot at this. So hard to get it set up with a wrap. Oh my goodness. Chances just became a little bit better. If I take out all red, then all red are gone from the board and none of these will turn into red. And I've done my collection. So let's do that. And then I think I can get these together, which might help me now to collect the rest of the yellow. I only have two yellow on the board and only one, two, three, four, five of these. So this is going to have to create, I think, I, I did a quick count. This is going to have to create enough cascading where it brings more of those lucky candies into play. Oh, we're so close. Look at that. So here's the thing. I know the strategy works. The color bomb ramped candy combo is definitely the way to go if we can manage it, but it's tough to manage. And I've got a little bit of a cold. So what I'm going to do, since I've shown you the strategy and I've shown you that it does work fairly well, I'm going to pause the recording, come back without sound, and finish this up probably, I mean, it's possible I could do it without making a color bomb stripe or a color bomb wrapped, but probably with the help of one of those combos. So that's it for me, Carrie. I hope, hope, hope that this helps and I'll see you next time. Hold on if you want to see me actually beat the board without sound.